Hey guys, so we're going to take this recycler view in Java and we're going to convert it to a recycler view in Kotlin and we're going to see how much cleaner we can get it in a short amount of time. Now, th now this is a pretty messy recycler view. I made this a long time ago, maybe a, almost a year ago. So it's, it has some um, the view holder has some, you know, uh, what these called again? Um, uh, alert dialogs. I'm buying view holder. Some methods in there that don't belong in there. And that's pretty much it. We're just going to copy it. So we have a reference. Paste it. I'm just going to put Kotlin behind it. Oh, I put uh, I did the wrong one. Uh, here we are. There we go. Convert to Kotlin. There's going to be some errors. There's always some errors when you convert Java to Kotlin, but it's a little faster. Some errors down here. Oh, these just aren't public. I know that. Now we're just going to start from the top to the bottom. Since we have Anko, we can just do We can equal it to the the ID uh, we don't need that anymore. Well, we never need that I guess. So erase that. Now we don't even need the constructor there anymore. Now for my my database call, I like to do by lazy, just so I don't have to worry about it. Oops. And this should be a val if we're not changing it. There we go. That means we can get rid of this, that constructor call. What else can we get rid of or change? Okay, now with a width, because we don't want those holders there, we want it a little simpler. I'm just going to change uh, these strings. Already looking a little, uh, little cleaner right there. Just that alone, and that's redundant now. Okay, I think that's that's pretty much it. What we can do really quick. Now I'm not putting all these in different methods. We get them cleaner and using clean code specifically because I want a transition from Java to Kotlin only to see if it's cleaner or not. Oops. Okay, now the comparison. Just above that. 
with that. There we go. Now, as we can see, we don't have our constructor in, in Kotlin. We have it up here. It's hidden. It's out of sight because we don't need to be looking at it 24-7. A big change, a big improvement with Kotlin is the view holder. Since we can import the static, uh, the static XML and just have as a variable for each view, we only have that in you know six lines of code. Here we have it in uh, thirty, I think that's no, like forty-five. So it's a big block and it's really big. Right here, you 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 can tell what it's doing just by glancing at it. This, you kind of look at it for a few more seconds. That's what I'm about. I'm about, when you look at a method or a class, you just glance at it for a second or two, and you should know what it does. You can obviously do that with clean code, just improve your code, but there's so much, there's only so much you can do when you have so much boilerplate and Kotlin proves that it gives you the next level. Here, there's not much change. I think I think that looks better is right here. Here right there. That's eight lines. Yeah, it's like the same. Oh it's it's two lines less for some reason somehow. Oh because of this thing. The yeah. Um it just looks better without the that whole gray gray there. Plus we don't have the um Parentheses, it just makes it look a little nicer. Right here, uh, I don't think there's really much change in this one. Not really much. The Ironbind view holder, it's a change. It's not that big of a change. Uh, but we are going to put in another thing right here. Oops, oh, I already did that in there. I confused with the Colin and the Java one. So, so it's a change right here. It's not that big of a change, but now we don't have to put holder in there, and you see the variable variable right there. Kind of see a little better, and these are a big change. The strings here, it goes off the the screen. You don't know what it's doing. Can't move it around over here to see see the end of it. Here, it's right there. You know what's going on. A lot easier to see. Not too much change in these methods, really. These uh, these three. Uh, I in zero to max. How much is that? Oh, that's eleven. I think this is a little easier, the, the the for loop, that that's a little easier to see, just by a little tiny bit. I'm still used to, to the, the Java one, so that, that's a little easier for me to glance at it really quickly, but, but once you get used to Colin, you can just glance at this and you know what it does. That's pretty much it. I think we improved it a lot. I mean, just by lines alone, this one's 156 lines. This one's 128. So we get rid of maybe 30 lines of code with just maybe, what was that, five minutes? If we really, really wanted to clean the code and we wanted to edit this, put it into other classes, other, other methods and everything, we can clean this substantially a lot more than what Java can clean it. And that's it for Recycler Views, the comparison of Java and Kotlin.